The 5.8 million shown in the press release is 2300, which is the result we're getting from the site times 2,500 sites that leads to 5.8 million a month. So multiply it by uh, 12, it's close to, uh, I think it's 69 million, if I recall correctly, per year for only the site that we have live uh, under contract today. So Francis Letourneau joins me now, CEO of New Ran Wireless. You all know who he is, and you are. And I thought I'd have Francis on today to talk about some of the comments we've received in the uh, YouTube channel about uh, some statements that we've made, and uh, we'll get the clarity straight from the horse's mouth. Francis, welcome. Thank you. The one thing I wanted to talk about too is that you uh, your statement the other day about um, three. You're making th you made three million dollars in the month in the last month. We had uh, at um, the 31st of December, 32 sites live, if I recall correctly. The 32 sites live are today generating, based on consumption, are generating $2,300, so $2,335. But in our financial model, the first few quarters of operation in a country, we only account in our model for the minimum guaranteed. Remember, we have ten, a 10-year uh, contract, and we are charging Orange a minimum guaranteed amount, and on top, we have a revenue split. So going back to this, the first six or eight quarters in our financial model, we were accounting for only the minimum guarantee. But the first two months of operation in Cameroon on the 30 sites, instead of achieving the minimum guaranteed amount, which is $1,200, we are achieving $2,300, so almost double. The $3 million is the, $1, the $1,200 times 2,500 sites that gives the $3 million a month times 12 months, so that would be for the minimum guaranteed. The 5.8 million shown in the press release is 2,300, which is the result we're getting from the site, times 2,500 sites that leads to 5.8 million a month. So multiply it by uh, 12, it's close to, uh, I think it's 69 million, if I recall correctly, per year for only the site that we have live uh, under contract today. Yeah, fantastic. I should get clarity from you more often because the numbers are always better once I get <laughs> to talk to you. <laughs> the, the way the model is built, and this is something that we've claimed uh, for a little while, is we are uh, working our financial model from an extremely conservative, and if not pessimistic, view of what the finances are going to be. And this is what the latest numbers have shown. We surpass the, uh, the targets that we've given ourselves and almost by doubling the first, uh, the first few uh, quarters of, uh, of operation, which is extremely, it's really good. It's really good. I'm, I'm impressed with, uh, with uh, Cameroon. Cameroon, we are mainly operating in the north of Cameroon. What you need to know is that there's a massive agricultural base there, and there's a lot of movement from Chad to go and do the harvesting. So we have, have a massive amount of usage there in terms of minutes. Uh, sometimes I've seen in a one uh, single village with 6,900 people, there was for a couple of days, 8,000 subscribers. Right. So there was more people in the village than the actual population based on this migration of population to do uh, to do our vesting so it's it's really good i'm impressed uh, will it be like this all the time i don't know but i'm impressed with the numbers we're getting today uh, jim is really super excited about this that's why i'm wearing my my new uh, new run shirt today yeah hey francis how long would it take to build ten thousand towers Actually, the, the, it's, of course, the, uh, in every country, depending on the, the uh, 
I would say the importance of the contract and the commitment we have in terms of timelines. Uh, we can we can have a couple of teams building up to uh, X amount of site per month, but bottom line, if we have everything under contract and the proper financing in place, it's probably thinkable to build them all in five years. Okay, that's what I think. Great. That's what I so think, and that's this is what our model is about. Right. How, I mean? much, how much revenue would you expect ten thousand towers to generate? Uh, from the initial assumption that we did, we were assuming $250 million worth of revenue with a 50% EBITDA, so 125. And as I was explaining in one video we did this week, if you use comparables on the market like tower companies, they usually trade at uh, 10x EBITDA. Right. So you're undervalued to say the least. We're undervalued, but guess what? I do not control what's on the market. What we do control is our ex execution and our ability to deliver uh, sites, to deliver finance and to de deliver contract. This is what we have control of. But uh, of course, people should see that uh, that uh, Neuron is a rising star. We're, we're aiming to the right direction and we're just accumulating proof that this is where we're going, and here is the value that you guys should get from the okay. company. So Francis, uh, some people have been taking exception with some of the comments we made, implying that we are a little bit off base, and so I thought I'd bring you on to have you tell us whether we're off base or not. So our first comment mm -hmm. is from a user called, uh, we're gonna pronounce it Sonofabak, uh, just for the sake of uh, rated PG. But he mm -hmm. says, was the mention of 5,000 sites a slip of the tongue in the video, or is it real? So we have under contract 25, up, close to 2,500 sites today. Right. With Orange DRC, Orange Cameroon, and MTN South Sudan. Right. This is, in the contracts, the minimum number of sites that we can do with these guys. We have an option with South Sudan to do 250 more. But if you look at DRC, the complete country, there's at least uh, potentially 10,000 towers to be built in the country. So we can probably aim for more. But under contract, James, today, it's 2,400, okay. 2,492 at the exact amount as a minimum in the contracts and we can probably scale. From a pipeline point of view, from the MTN RFP, the Oranges RFP, and all the other opportunities on which we're working on today, we have a pipeline, a forecast of over 14,000 potential towers to be built. 14,000? 14,000. Will we get them all? The answer is potentially no. But if we get one third of it, it could be like a 5,000. This is probably the 5,000 that you uh, that, that you used for something like this. There's so much numbers or so many numbers and because it's a numbers business aside from technology. So of course you can get confused, but 2,500 sites under contract we have a pipeline of 15,000 plus sites. So uh, bottom line, we're aiming for the 10,000 sites objective in five years. Yeah, so it's I think it clarifies the, the, the whole picture. Exactly. Uh, then Josh Moynihan says, hi hey, James, you need to dig around into New Ren. You have many, many of the facts incorrect. Now he doesn't specify, yeah. I did ask him to specify. He hasn't got back to us yet. Uh, okay. And then there's, James, on that note, uh, I invite your auditors, uh, auditors, your audience to go on the website as well. We've got the live site stream, uh, which is one page where we track all the sites live, population covered and everything. But we also included a new section in the corporate section that describes everything we've achieved in the last 16 months. So that will give people like exact data that they're looking for. Right. Yeah, that's great, Francis. Okay, mm -hmm. we'll leave it there for now. We'll come back to you in due course, and thanks for the update, Francis. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye for now. Bye.